Here we have a one piece casted Centurion D5 Evo base. Like I said, it's a one piece. We have enough support structures at the bottom, which will make sure that the gate motor sits down properly on the steel base plate, which allows for proper operation over a long period of time. There are at least five seals on a Centurion D5 Evo gate motor. On the front section, where the drive gear comes out, we have a seal that fits in place. It is then kept in place by the gate motor pinion gear cover. On the main drive shaft, we have the back seal section on the cover, the front seal, and another seal. which fits in there. On the main gear, we have the plastic pin and rubber seal that prevents oil from running out of the gate motor. So it's a well sealed system. All depends of if the installation is correctly performed as per factory specifications. We have just fitted the front seal and pinion gear cover into place. We're now going to fit the main drive shaft into the base. We're doing that first in order to show you what's happening on the worm gear shaft. This is quite easy. Here we have the drive shaft cover plate. You will notice that there's two orange seals on it. One comes on the top of it. It's just slid over. On the back of it, another seal fits into the back. And then hand pressing the front main gear shaft seal goes in. Just like that. Now we need to fit the front cover onto the main drive shaft. It's sometimes more easier doing it with the whole drive shaft removed from the system. Only pressed and tight, nothing more. You will notice that this front cover can still swivel. That is correct. Next up is fitting the DOS disc. Make sure that it's free of any oil, grease, anything that can obscure the holes in the system. This needs to be pressed on to the drive shaft system. It's 
So the DOS disk has been pressed into the seal there at the bottom so that it's completely seated. Here you can see all of the seals in place. So this is one unit and it's now easier to fit it as one unit into the plastic base. We are now going to fit the front cover. There's an elevated area here. Make sure that it does not obscure the front cover from going on. So if I were to move it that way, the front cover will not go on. So it needs to be out of the way. You'll see the front cover has got an area where the dosk Dust plugs into.